What's up everybody? Welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. I am really excited about today's video because I got this really cool package in the mail from Maybelline and it's full of their new Made for All Color Sensational lipsticks and these claim to be universally flattering on all skin tones. So any one of my viewers, any one of you watching right now should be able to go to the drugstore, pick one of these lipsticks up and have it work for your skin tone. And I just thought that that was a really cool concept, especially coming from the drugstore. And these say that they are created using specially selected pigments and tested on 50 diverse skin tones. That's really cool, I think. I really wish that I had somebody lighter and darker than my skin tone to film with today because I think that that would be really fun to see how they work on everyone, but I'm a one woman show, so you're stuck with me. I still think the video is gonna be good though. And basically, this is just supposed to take the guesswork out of your shopping experience when it comes time to choosing a lipstick. There are seven different shades. They come in a matte and satin formula with honey nectar for a smooth and comfortable feel. So let's get to swatching these. And if you are new to my channel, hello, welcome, I'm Trina. Be sure to subscribe for a new video every week. Ooh, I don't know which one I want to start with. You know what? I'm just going to keep it easy and go in order of how they're packaged in this box. So I'm going to start off with Ruby for me. Holy, that is with no lip liner. I love the pointed tip too, so you can really go in and define the lip with that, but that is some serious color. Oh no, I got all my teeth. I can see though how this one would look good on any skin tone. It's like the perfect red, and by the way, makes your teeth look really white. It's an illusion though, because I do drink a lot of coffee. This next one is called Red For Me, and this is a matte formula. And this one actually looks really similar to the last one, but I feel like this one might be a little bit more orange. This is my kind of red. Very similar to the other one in that it's super pigmented, but this one definitely has more of that orange tone that I love in a red. I would say the first one had more of like a blue undertone to it, whereas this one, orange, love it. But again, I can totally see how anybody could rock this color, light, medium, dark. Okay, we're switching it up from the reds and we're going into a fuchsia now. This is called Fuchsia for me. Oh, baby. We're definitely back into that satin finish because this one's definitely a little bit more glossy. This one is fun because the color is so bold. I don't normally wear a fuchsia all that often. It's just not something that I think about wearing, but I do think that I could wear this shade. Like I think it works well with my undertone. It definitely has more of a blue to it, but I still think like I normally wear, or I like to wear colors that are a little bit more warm because I think it goes better with my skin tone, but I could totally rock this. The next one is called Plum For Me. I always save my plum lipsticks that I get for my mom because I know that's her favorite color to wear. So let's see what this one looks like on me and then also let's see if it's good enough for my mama. I said that I would give this one to my mom, but after swiping it, I could totally see my sister wanting this one too. I like it. I don't wear these colors all that often, but I totally think that I could rock this. Like it's not a lipstick that I have on that I would be like, ooh, I gotta take that off. It doesn't go with my undertone. It actually complements it really well. It would be interesting to know if these colors already existed within Maybelline's lipstick line and if they just kind of packaged them or remarketed them for this made for all campaign. The next one is called Pink For Me. Interesting, I would say that this is the first one that I have on that I'm not really feeling. Like, I don't think this one does anything for my skin tone. I just don't think the yellow from my skin goes really well with the tone of pink that it is. Next one is called Mauve for me. Now, <laughs> this is always a funny one. How do you guys pronounce it? Do you say mauve or mauve? I say mauve, I know some people say Mauve. Ooh, this kind of looks like a nudie brown. I'm into it. 
I really like this one. I feel like this is a very natural nude color. I think anyone could rock this one. For somebody with a lighter skin tone than me, this could be that really pinky brown that's in right now. And if you had a darker skin tone than me, I still think you could rock this and it would just be there for like a nude on you. I. I really like it, I'm into it. This is the kind of color that I've been into wearing for the last little while. Oh my gosh, I would totally pair this with the Spice lip liner from MAC. Ooh. All right, last one is Spice for me. I'm actually really excited about this. Hopefully we saved the best for last. I'd say for me, this is the one that stands out in all of the colors, like the most different, the most unique. It's like an orangey brown. Ooh, this one is so good. I think I am gonna say that this one is my favorite. I would say that this one, Spice for me, and then Red for me, that orangey brown are my two favorites. I'm gonna say that this one is even gonna take it because it's unique. It's something that is very on trend right now and I know a lot of brands have colors that look like this or they're trying to do colors that look like this. So the fact that this is from the drugstore. Awesome job, Maybelline. And I just think that this would totally look good on anyone. I think for a medium skin tone like myself, it rocks like this with just a simple wing liner or just mascara. Oh, I'm very excited about this one. And then for somebody with a lighter skin tone, I think it would just look really, really cool. And then I think this would be the most complimentary for somebody with a really deep skin tone. It it would look so good. It would just warm up the skin so beautifully. Man, I wish I had somebody here to test this on, but I would say the only one I'm kind of iffy about was again, that pink for me, just cause I don't think it did anything for my skin tone. Other than that, those are the seven shades, you guys. I told you my favorites. Now I wanna hear what yours are. Please leave me a comment and let me know what your favorite on me was. Or if you've tried any, any of them, if you've tried, I need, I need a little, I need a little caffeine. If you've tried any of them, please let me know what color was your favorite. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe if you're new and come back next week for a brand new video. I will see you all then. Bye.